Josh Friedman of freeslow.com reporting from London. Stay tuned for upcoming news from the UK and abroad. From my Westminster studio, good evening and welcome to London. Hope you enjoyed my attempt at a British accent in the opening. As for now, it was a busy week in the news across the pond, flush with headlines on baking scandals, and oh by the way, the Olympics are in town. But we start with finance. London is the financial capital of the world as it sits on the prime meridian and trades with both the western and eastern hemispheres daily. And we will take a trip to the very financial district in the city of London, within London, for our first report. Standing behind me is the Bank of England, the intersection of government and banking and the model for most central banks worldwide. This week, the revolving door between government and banking blew wide open as British banks made big splashes on both sides of the pond. On Tuesday, Fed Chairman Ben Bernanke revealed that his knowledge of the Barclays LIBOR rate rigging scheme dated back at least four years. Moments later, a U.S. Senate investigative committee released a report indicting HSBC with laundering Mexican cartel drug money across the world. Interestingly, the former head of HSBC is the current trade minister Lord Green of Britain. Green left his post at HSBC for his new spot in government in similar fashion as disgraced former head of MF Global John Corzine did, bouncing back and forth between the two sectors. Also in the news this week, the British arm of MF Global reached a deal with its creditors and will begin repaying them to the tune of 54 million pounds. Outside the Bank of England, Josh Friedman, freeslow.com. Despite the bombardment of banking scandals, the Olympics have taken center stage in the UK. Athletes arrived on Monday and tourists have been flocking into town as have men in uniform. For that report, we head to Olympic Park. Behind me, the games will begin in just one week, but Olympic controversy in London is well underway. The British Parliament doled out a £57 billion security contract to the firm G4S, only to deem them inadequate and send in the military to beef up the protection. With the latest arrival of troops in town, there are now 19,000 British soldiers patrolling the streets of London. That's twice the amount deployed currently to Afghanistan. From Olympic Park in Stratford, Josh Friedman, freeslow.com. I hope you enjoyed this free slow tour of London. Thanks for watching. I'm heading to the continent and I will see you in the Eurozone.